Chapter 896, The Capture Order. After creating the first thunder escape symbol, Lin Ming repeated the process, soon forming 11 thunder escape symbols. After receiving all of them into his body, he had finally cultivated the mystic lightning shade. The Thunder Law's extreme speed concept is really mysterious. With this ability, combined with the Gate of Wonder and Golden Rock shattering the void, even if I encounter Ruihu and Yang Laoshan together I should still be able to easily retreat. But if I run into that strange demon youth or the ancient devil possessed Yang Yun, I still don't think I'll be able to escape. Ruihu and Yang Laoshan were people with strength close to the highest under the heavens. Old man Good Fortune was stronger than these two, but he wouldn't be able to fight the two of them together. In the end, Old Man Good Fortune was also a martial artist with strength closest to the highest under the heavens. But the strange demon youth and the ancient devil possessed Yang Yun truly did have strength equal to the highest under the heavens. If Old Man Good Fortune didn't use his heaven perishing bead without reservation then he would likely have died to the demon youth. As Lin Ming was thinking, what he didn't know was that at this time, Hu Hu and Yang Laoshan were already near death. In the completely dark divine palace, over twenty divine sea powerhouses were standing in the great hall. All of them had pale faces that were dripping with a frightened sweat. Sitting in front of them were two people. At the front was a white-clothed youth who sat regally on a pitch-black throne. A suppressive and ghastly aura exuded from his body, covering all of the divine sea powerhouses present and forcing them into absolute silence. This white-clothed youth was Yang Yun. And sitting beside Yang Yun was the strange demon youth, a sinister smile crossing his lips. Even so, he seemed like a 15-16-year-old youth. This was Whitey Demon. Back before the Sea of Miracles, Whitey Demon had been the ancient devil's little brother. Now, with the ancient devil occupying Yang Yun's body, Whitey Demon naturally gave over the prime seat of honor to Yang Yun. The compelling aura of these two was one of the reasons that over twenty divine sea powerhouses felt a strong fear in their hearts, but it wasn't the main reason. What truly caused them to shiver in a cold sweat was that behind Yang Yun there were two torture racks. Each torture rack was as tall as three people, and its entire frame was an inky black that didn't seem to reflect any light. There even seemed to be some sort of rust on it. As one looked carefully, one could faintly make out that this was dark, dry blood. The main body of these torture racks was a large square pillar in the center. Countless chains as thick as a man's thigh coiled around the pillar each of them with sharp and ferocious-looking barbs jutting out from them as if they had been used to nail countless demons. At this time, there was an old man tied up on each of these two torture racks. These two old men both wore purple-gold imperial robes. Those purple-gold imperial robes that were crafted with countless heavenly materials were already damaged and frayed, having long lost all the dignity and majesty they once had. A cruel iron hook stabbed into these old men's shoulders and collar bones. They hung there unconscious like dead dogs. In addition, there were a number of iron thorns jabbed into the important haku points of these two old men, completely sealing up all their energy. The chains that wrapped around them seemed to be alive, quietly sucking away their blood essence. Blood essence slowly dripped down the chains, finally gathering into a small crimson pool within a goblet carved of bone. These two old men had shaken the foundations of the sky spill continent for several thousand years. They were great characters that were able to recklessly stomp through all four divine kingdoms, Hu Hu and Yang Laoshan. With their fame and glory having accumulated for so many years, the immeasurable influence they wielded, as well as their strength that was close to being the highest under the heavens, they were existences that terrified all others. Even other divine sea powerhouses had to tremble and be meek when facing them. Even a top character like Sichu Hashin feared them from his heart. But now, these two old men that had stood at the very peak of the sky spill continent were like pieces of pork hung on a street market stall. Their faces were haggard and their eyes were listless and glossed over. There was nothing coming from them but despair, as if all their hopes had already faded away. As a massive amount of blood essence was sucked away from them, their fires of life had weakened to the point of collapse. About to extinguish at any moment. And the ones who had accomplished all of this were Yang Yun and a strange demon youth. How could these divine sea powerhouses not remain silent? Even a character like Sichu Hashin would instantly die if he tried to resist them. At this time, Sichu Hashin was indeed one of the strongest of the divine sea powerhouses present. He never imagined that Yang Yun's ability and secrets would have been hidden so deeply. There were simply no words to describe it. He thought that Yang Yun was an interesting character, but he had never really placed this crown prince in his eyes. No matter how talented he was, or even if he would become the next Yang Laoshan, that was still a matter that would happen in 1000 to 2000 years. There was just nothing to worry about for the moment. He never expected that today, Yang Laoshan, Yang Yun's own great-grandfather, would actually have all of his cultivation sealed away, hung on a torture rack to have his blood essence sucked out. Si Chu Hashin had originally only feared Lin Ming. But compared to the present Yang Yun, Lin Ming had been completed overshadowed. There was no comparing the two at all. Besides Si Chu Hashin, the most ashen-faced person was the current Nine Furnace Divine Emperor. He was also Yang Yun's own father, Yang Zio. As Yang Zio looked at Yang Yun sitting on that jet black throne, it was like he was living in a dream. Although he knew that Yang Yun had been keeping his cards deeply hidden, and he also faintly understood that Yang Yun had obtained a massive lucky chance. He didn't think that such a day would ever occur. Really, this was a nightmare. Silence. A pall of quiet fell over the entire grand hall. No one opened their mouths to speak. The only noise was the sound of liquid slowly dripping into the goblet of bone. This sound was incomparably clear. It was the blood essence of Uihu and Yang Laoshan. Father. Are you trembling? Yang Yun suddenly looked up and faintly smiled at Yang Zio. What kind of character was Yang Zio? Although he had inherited the throne of the Divine Emperor less than 500 years ago and still hadn't developed the aura of one who controlled the entire world, he had still overseen all matters of the Sky Spill Continent's top Divine Kingdom. He had seen many magnificent scenes. Even so, 
because of a single person, his heart and body trembled. This person was his son. The mental impact Yang Yun had given him was just too great. You. You traitorous son. You. You will actually kill your great-grandfather. This will not be tolerated by the heavens or earth. Although Yang Zio's voice was harsh, everyone could hear that there wasn't the least bit of vigor in his words, it was nothing more than a front of a faint-hearted man. This was the suppression of absolute strength and aura, Humphrey, not tolerated by the heavens or earth. If a father kills their child, that is divine will, but if a child kills their father then that is not tolerated by the heavens or earth. Yang Yun's eyebrow shot up as a mocking expression crossed his face. Yang Zio, if you tried to kill me right now instead of uttering all that nonsense, then I would have at least shown you some respect. But what a pity, you are afraid. Fear fills your heart, and any words you say cannot hide the utter horror you feel. For you to try and maintain your sad and hypocritical illusion, you are truly disappointing. Yang Yun's few words aimed for blood, violently thrusting into Yang Zio's most fragile weakness. Yes. He was truly afraid, and he truly did not dare to resist Yang Yun. Since Yang Yun dared to treat Yang Laoshin like this in front of all the heroes of the world, then killing him would be no simpler than slaughtering a chicken or dog. Those ridiculous emotional bonds between a father and son were currently nothing more than a joke. After being seen through by Yang Yun, Yang Zio paled. Even his fingers shook. But, what could he do against Yang Yun? What if he really tried to desperately battle Yang Yun? The result of that could be imagined. He would inevitably be humiliated once more in front of Yang Yun's strength. After that defeat he would surely be disposed of. With Yang Yun's ruthless decisiveness, how could he possibly be lenient? At that moment, Yang Zio had never been so shamed before in his life. In front of all the heroes of the world, a noble divine emperor of the highest divine kingdom had actually been forced to swallow such an insult by his own son. This was complete humiliation. You. You. Yang Zio clenched his fists, his nails digging deep into his flesh until they drew blood. At that moment, he felt his own heart of martial arts weakening, as if it were about to shatter at any moment. You do not deserve the title of divine emperor. Yang Yun shook his head, his voice filled with contempt. There are two types of hero. The first does not fear pain or death. For glory and honor, they can descend into hell and withstand the cruelest pain. Such a person lives an honorable life, willing to die as a martyr. I admire that type of person. The second can adapt to any situation. Hatred, shame, humiliation, they can't tolerate all. Eating the food of pigs and dogs, enduring those insults that the world cannot bear, also that they can one day reverse their fate. This type of person is similarly worthy of my admiration. As Yang Yun slowly spoke these words, no one knew that he was exactly this second type of person. As for the humiliation he was forced to endure in the past, not even Yang Laoshin knew about that. Yang Yun, just what do you want? As Si Chu Hashin saw Yang Yun force Yang Zio into a dead end, he suddenly stepped forwards, directly facing Yang Yun. The deciding factor of a divine kingdom's true strength was not the number of divine sea powerhouses they had, but the strongest divine sea powerhouse that they had. This was because the differences in strength between various divine sea powerhouses was just too great. For instance, in front of Yang Yun, characters like Si Chiaxi and Si Chubanan could simply be ignored, much less with the strange demon youth also here. If Yang Yun and the strange demon youth joined forces, the two of them were truly invincible. They already had the qualifications to dominate the entire sky spill continent. Si Chu Hashin had no choice but to admit defeat in front of them. Yang Yun's eyes crossed over the crowd before settling on Si Chu Hashin. He calmly and slowly enunciated, From now on, those who follow me will find prosperity and those who defy me will find death. The four divine kingdoms may retain their original national boundaries and I will not annex any influence. Everyone must obey my orders. Those who violate my command, death. As Yang Yun spoke, an invisible force field erupted out from him. His battle spirit condensed into twenty-some tracing marks that directly flew into bodies of these divine sea powerhouses. When the ancient devil still had a mortal form, the level of his battle spirit had even surpassed Lin Ming's. He had achieved the perfect silver battle spirit, thus implanting a battle spirit mark was as simple as turning a hand. You. What have you done? A tracing mark. Do you think I would let you all freely run away? Yang Yun sneered. His words caused all of the martial artists present to feel despair swell up in their hearts. With this tracing mark within them, it meant they would forever be slaves. If they ever tried to revolt against Yang Yun, he would hunt them down even if they fled to the edges of the world. Even if all of them joined forces to resist Yang Yun, it still might be useless. Now, I will issue the first order. Everyone is commanded to capture Lin Lanjian. If you find out his location then do not rashly do anything but inform me first. The person who can inform me of his location. Not only will I bestow upon them permanent freedom but I shall also grant them divine realm cultivation methods and divine realm spirit pills. Chase down Lin Lanjian? This order caused all of the martial artists present to gulp. They didn't think that this would be Yang Yun's first order. No one wished to be under the control of others. If they could take back their freedom while also obtaining pills and cultivation methods from the divine realm, then that truly was a great temptation. 